Good afternoon, Greene County and surrounding communities. Daniel here with ZCI. It is approaching winter very fast, and now we are urging you, everyone in the surrounding communities, to get your property inspections, get your roof inspections done now to avoid costly repairs in the winter time. Okay, ice dams, snow buildup, these things can cause serious issues with your fascia board, with the wood near your gutters, because the water's gonna work its way up during the freeze and thaw cycles, okay? So contact us as soon as possible. If you have no issues, that's awesome. We'll give you that good news. If you do, we'll let you know the right steps to take to make sure that you don't have bigger ones later on, okay? Sometimes that's with an insurance claim. Sometimes that's just a minor repair that we can offer, but it's best to get a professional opinion and not take any risks, okay? It's been a crazy year. We don't want anything else to go wrong, right? So give us a call. We'd love to take a look. With that being said, we're gonna jump into the adjuster meeting part of an insurance claims process. Okay, if you have any questions about other aspects of the insurance claims process, check out our other videos. We have plenty of content about that, different policy types, RCV versus ACV, depreciation, deductible. But this is a specific part of the insurance claims process where it's really important for you as a policyholder, as the homeowner, to have a professional contractor with the right credentials and certifications to be there guiding and making sure everything is documented and identified. Okay, so the claims process briefly starts out by a loss. You have a loss, you have damage to your house, you have a shingle blow off, you have hail hit your house, that's your loss. And it happens on the date of loss, right? So April 7, we had hail, it blew off, it, I had missing shingles, I had dents in all my siding. Okay, that's the damage. So then you file a claim. You're either gonna call or file it online get your claim number, get an adjuster assigned, and then they have the adjuster meeting. This is when the adjuster is going to come out, document all the, all the damage, identify everything that's been hit, and then work up the price to repair your property. Okay, sometimes it's a third party, sometimes they'll send out companies like Ladder Now that does, you know, they document and then they send it to Allstate. Sometimes it's someone in-house where State Farm will come out, they'll have a licensed State Farm adjuster, they can write you a check on the spot, right? So the adjuster comes out, they look at all the damage, and then they come up with an estimate of what it's gonna cost to actually fix your property. So $12,000, $27,000, whatever it may be, and then they're gonna write a check for the actual cash value of that damaged property, and then they'll release the rest on the back end. Then you get your work done, and that's when they release the depreciation. Okay, that's the normal claims process. Sometimes it can get a little jumbled, as I'm sure some of our past clients know, where more adjusters get involved, managers get involved, but this is how it should go, right? And then focusing more on the adjuster meeting, that's when you really wanna have a professional contractor there to make sure everything gets documented and everything gets inspected, okay? Now I'm gonna say about 50% of the time, the adjuster that comes out is gonna be honest. He's gonna be looking for all the damages. He's going to be, to have the intent to make you whole and put you back in pre-storm condition. The other 50% of the time, the adjuster is there to ignore damage, to make excuses, to ask you tough questions that you might not know the answer to in order to corner you or box you into something that might not be true and then to fight you, deny, and did not delay the claims. Okay, that's the other 50%. That's when it is very important for us to be there. And even on the first 50%, even on the good adjusters, they might be missing something that we might have knowledge of or that we catch to be able to point out and they're gonna appreciate that and document it, right? So the adjuster meeting, they're there to document, to inspect, to ask questions, like I said, and where it helps, how we can help is because we have all the certifications, all the knowledge, we are local, so we know the storm dates, we know the size of the hail, we know the strong winds, we probably helped pick up branches, we had friends and family where we helped and did repairs, so we have that level of knowledge of the storm, we have the certifications, like our HAG certification, we're members of the NRCA, we're members of the ORCA, so we have this backing, this training, where we can say, this is in line with damage, here's why. 
we have um, the ability to hold them accountable. So on the second 50%, where it's the type who wants to ignore something, we can say, uh, Mr. Adjuster, Mrs. Adjuster, did you uh, see all these dents in the siding or did you see the, the hits in the soft metals on the roof? Oh, that's not damage. Well, it is for these reasons and it matches what we know is in the area. Okay, they're not gonna document it. Well, at least we can write that down and we could say, we chalk up the box vent, here's a bunch of hail hits, uh, your adjuster ignored all these damages. So it's something to hold them accountable where you may not know the adjuster ignored damage because you haven't been on your roof in five years, maybe never. You don't know what hail damage looks like. We do, okay? And then we have the credibility of, well, yeah, we replaced seven roofs in this neighborhood. All these other insurance companies and adjuster identified it as hail damage. So why are you ignoring it? For all these reasons, it's incredibly important that you have someone on your side like ZCI Residential even before the claims process starts so we can tell you, yes, this is congruent with hail damage, congruent with wind damage, probably from this date, or we can say, you know, this is just due to age and deterioration, probably not worth a claim, but you want to think about getting your roof replaced in the next couple years or the next five years, seven years, three months, whatever it may be. So get someone who's qualified, get your inspections done immediately. If you've already started the claims process, already had the adjuster meeting, it's not too late. If you're not happy with it, we can always revisit that, get a second adjuster meeting where we can be on site after we document things that they missed. So it's in your best interest absolutely to have someone local, honest and experienced like ZCI Residential. Thank you.